Hi, I'm Matt Kazmowski with General RV. Behind me is the greatest selling motorhome of all time, the Fleetwood Bounder. But it's not just any Bounder, it's actually the 40,000th unit that the Rev Group, parent company of Fleetwood, has produced to date. Let's go take a look. The Fleetwood RV Company was started in 1957. By 1973, grew to become the largest RV manufacturer in the industry. In 1986, they started producing the Fleetwood Bounder, like the one behind me. And in the 1980s, every one out of 10 RVs manufactured was a Bounder. Over the years, Fleetwood motorhomes have grown in popularity and even made it to the big screen, appearing on some TV shows and movies like The Lost World, Jurassic Park. Ever since the first Bounder rolled off the assembly line in 1986, even today, it's still America's favorite motorhome. One thing that makes the Bounder so appealing, besides its great looks on the outside, is how it's built. The framing on here is all extruded aluminum, and from the floor, to the walls, to the ceiling, is interlocked together to create one solid structure. That's a great feature to have, but let's talk about what else makes this Bounder such a great unit. The Bounder is known for its storage, not just on the inside, but also on the outside. How much storage, you might ask? Over 180 cubic feet. And that storage is lined with a rotoform tubs, which won't rot, delaminate, or corrode. So they'll keep you on the road for many years to come. Bounder has everything you'll need to enjoy camping to the fullest, including outside entertainment with an LED TV and Bluetooth soundbar, easy access to all your compartments with all the serviceable items that are needed here in camp from your disconnects, to your solar charge controller, to your hot water heater on the side. The Bounder rides in the Ford F53 chassis, which has Alcoa 22 and a half inch wheels, which will give you a smooth riding trip all the way through your camping experience. Moving on to the back, we have full storage throughout the rear. Pass through on both sides, which are easily accessible from the camp side or off camp side. Along the back side, there's a one piece fiberglass molded cap, along with a 5,000 pound capacity hitch. And then you have the ladder, which is two pieces. The other side will snap right in, come down. That way, when you're camping, it's not sticking out and could be an obstruction for anybody around the campground. Fleetwood's thought out any opportunity they can to make it as convenient as possible for their customers. One thing to note is on the bounders, the gas cap is in the rear. That way, you can easily fill, whenever you pull into a gas station, the pumps on either side of you. On the off-camp side, we still have the continuation of the pass-through storage, but this is going to be more utility-based on this side. Taking a look in this compartment, we have the hoard reel, a surge protector, and then moving up, you have a Cummins Onan 5500 watt generator. Moving up from the generator bay, we have your hookup compartment. Now this has everything in here once you get to your campsite, from your fresh water fill, to an outside shower, to your low point drains when you winterize, easy access points for your black tank flush, a whole coach built in water filter. There's also two access points below, so you can route your hoses through the bottom instead of leaving the door. One thing that's unique to the Bounder is instead of lining the undersides of the slides and the interior floor with Darko, it's lined with sheet steel, which will hold up a lot longer as much more durable. One thing you'll notice from the front right away is a large panoramic windshield, so you can see everything in your scope while driving down the road. Speaking of visibility, these large side view mirrors are not only power, they're also heated, but they also have cameras built into the side, which display on the screen when you turn your turn signals on. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Moving down, we have two large opening windows, great for ventilation for the driver and passenger. The rest of the motorhome is lined with frameless dual pane windows. Let's take a look inside. Once you get to camp, setting up is a breeze. All the controls are easily located in the top control panel, but there's also an app as well. So if you want to set up camp and you're by yourself, you can walk around the outside while you watch your slides go out, your awning come out, and you can also turn your air on in the meantime. One thing that makes camping so memorable is not just at the campsite, but on the journey there. And a lot of that time is spent here, in your motorhome while on the road. But you don't always get to open your slides up during that time. Actually, you don't get to at all. So let's take a look at how much room you have with the slides closed, which is a lot of room. Starting from a bed that you can easily get to, to the half bath, to your theater seating, which has a great view of the TV. If you want food or something to drink, your fridge, easily accessible, and your full dinette. Not to mention your microwave. What else do you need? Starting from the cockpit, you'll notice a very automotive design. Starting from the left, 
You can easily see your auto leveling jacks, which are a four point hydraulic controls here. And then moving up, you have not one, but two monitors you'll see in here. And I'll tell you why. The first monitor is designated strictly for your cameras, which are gonna have a driver's side camera, a passenger side camera, which are located in the mirrors, as we talked about on the outside, and then also your backup camera. That way, if you're using your secondary screen for navigation through either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you still have a designated screen for your cameras. Keep you as safe as possible on the road. And all your controls on the left-hand side are gonna be for your blinds. You also have a fan boat for your driver's side fan, and then also an auxiliary start button. This is great too in case you somehow drain your chassis battery and you're at the campsite. You can jump start your chassis battery through your house batteries through that button, which is a great feature. On the right side of the steering wheel, you have the controls for your lights, your map lights, your utility lights on the outside. You can start your generator either from your app that we talked about earlier or from right from this button right here. And then you also have a toggle switch for the radio. So you can have the radio either off or in park mode or in travel mode. Moving to the right, you have the large Sony touchscreen display for your entertainment. The reason this is in the middle is because it also gives full access for the passenger as well. So you're not just the driver controlling the radio, they have an easy access to it too. All the comforts are not just for the driver, there's plenty here for the passenger as well, including a pull-out workstation, easily accessible here. There's also power outlets, both for a 12 volt and a 110 underneath here as well as a fan switch for your fan over on this side too, and map lights if you want to read a book while you're driving down the road. One great addition to this bounder is any use of functional space which is not obtrusive. This actually has a height aloft, which is a convenient drop down 500 pound capacity bed that'll give you additional sleeping capabilities, but without taking up all the room when you're on the road. Once you're at the campground, it's always nice to have additional seating. So the driver and passenger seat do swivel over. There is a table that can go in between here. Now let's talk about the galley a little bit. There's tons of pantry storage on this side with both three slide out drawers. And then also on the bottom, there's adjustable shelving. Make it easy to either put any canned items or any dry food goods or anything else you want to put in here. Moving over to the galley side, we have solid surface countertops. You have two removable cutting boards that cover your two bowl stainless steel sink above it is a pull-out faucet head which is great for spraying off food or dirty dishes and then we also have a 13 by 60 picture window behind here this is usually a dark area that you don't get a whole lot of natural light in of course being on the campsite you want as much visibility on that side and as many windows as possible so this is a great feature to have moving on down we have plenty of storage again adjustable cabinets you'll see in here tall storage down below for cutting boards again adjustable Plenty of room for a trash can, the storage for silverware on pullouts, three pullouts down here. And then moving on down, you have a three burner cooktop. You actually do have an oven in this one too, which is great. In addition to the cooktop being on top, you also have the removable cutting boards for it. And then you also don't see with an oven, you usually don't see a convection microwave. This one has it. Storage above top, and a vent fan for when you're cooking. Huge double door fridge in the top. It is a residential too, I might add. There's a nice little convenient latch here that locks it up when you're traveling down the road so they don't swing open. And then a huge pull-out freezer at the top door that pushes back to reveal more additional freezer storage below. This is bigger than my freezer at home. The multifunction dinette provides plenty of space for working like I am right now or sleeping, but most importantly, a great space to eat. Now, Storage is always a concern, so Fleetwood did a great job of making the best use of space under here. And you do have some pull-out additional storage under each side. No matter where you sit, there's a great spot for the TV, whether it's in the dinette, the front two chairs, or my favorite spot, the theater seats. These are pretty cool because not only are they power, they also have built-in USB charging ports in here and plenty of storage. How can you leave home without an LED TV, a sound bar, and of course, an electric fireplace? Now, this isn't just for looks though. Keep in mind this fireplace will kick out 5,300 BTUs of hot air. So what does that mean for you? Well, that along with the heat pump that's built into the rear AC, you can actually take that chill off without having to use any of your propane. This 35K floor plan is probably the best seller for this reason right here. Great use of space. You have a half bath here, not to mention the full in the back with the shower. You have a porcelain toilet, storage cabinet above the toilet there. Nice window that opens too. It's stainless steel sink 
that also has plenty of counter space. That's one thing you usually don't see in a half bath is counter space. Not to mention the huge medicine cabinet up top that also has adjustable shelving, similar to what you saw in the, in the galley. Storage underneath as well, and there's also a 110 outlet. Everything you need. One of the most important parts about camping is being comfortable and being able to sleep. Well, let's talk about the bedroom for a little bit. Large, king-size serenity bed that's built in the slide. So when that slides open, it gives you ample amount of room to walk around and get to the full bath. The bed actually has two outlets on both sides. Each of them have 110 as well as 12 volt USB plugs. Storage above, here's a cool feature, is you do have an opening here for the center cabinet and then a 110 outlet right here. That's great for a CPAP machine. They were really thinking about that too for a lot of their campers. Big windows on the side that open up to provide some cross ventilation if you want to. And then also you also have a button down below here for your generator in case you want to start it when you're in bed if you need to. Again, all that can be also controlled too from the app on your phone, which is really cool. Let's talk about cabinets and storage. Plenty of storage here throughout the whole vanity side. You'll notice this is slotted. So even though it's not here, this is actually washer dryer prepped. Plenty of slide outs down below. You can really fit anything you really want to clothes wise on here. You have a TV up above, full wardrobe that's cedar lined as well as with a clothes hanger on here. More storage underneath with pull outs. Now remember earlier we took a look at the half bath. Now it's time to take a look at the full bath in the back. Plenty of room, great countertop space, porcelain toilet, porcelain sink too. Adjustable shelving in the medicine cabinet up above and this is very wide. There's a lot of space here. More storage, more adjustable shelving. We do not lack any storage space in this at all. Some slide outs, storage underneath, great use of space. And then this shower is great too. They place this perfectly because it's on the inside of where this cabinetry is. So you still have a lot of room. It doesn't take up too much room in the, in the floor space itself, but it still feels really big on the inside. Glass sliding shower doors. I'm six foot. I have plenty of room, not to mention this skylight up above, which brings plenty of natural light in. And then you also have an adjustable shower head too, which is really convenient. So even at six feet, I can easily have the shower water coming down on me instead of having to squat down and get in the water. There's so many things that make this Bounder not just a great floor plan, but the best selling floor plan on the Bounder line. But don't take my word for it because we only touched on most of the items. There's a lot more that might appeal to you even more. So check one out for yourself. Thanks for joining me today. For more information on this Bounder and many more, check out GeneralRV.com.